Greetings automotive enthusiast. We are off on an absolutely truly epic Tales from the Trip. Um, it's a beautiful April spring morning and uh, no wind. It was super windy yesterday and it all died down. It's gonna be a gorgeous day today. <laughs> well, here's Jazz joining us. Hey Jazzy. Hey Jazz. Where are you hiding? Where are you running? <laughs> that's Jasmine. That's my girl. Um, anyway, sorry. We get cats and are they everywhere. Um, so I tell you, I'll, I'll tell you more about the trip when I get in the truck. Uh, I got a little surprise for you. Headed out here, and normally we take SUVs to go get cars, but we're taking a truck this time. Check out this little F-150 we just got in. Beautiful little truck, and we have a trailer. Um, I'll tell you more about that. But right now, I want to show you guys. We kind of keep you posted on the animals around here. They're all happy this morning. Everything's greening up. <laughs> but Zoe has, yeah, we've shown you that she's pregnant. Well, she has had her baby. So let's go say hi to the baby real quick. All right, let's see you. What's going on in the barn here? Everybody's probably sleeping. Be real quiet here. And uh, there's the 600. We had some storms rolling the other day, so we uh, get cars. I hear you. Are you talking to me? Huh? Where are you? Well, hi. Well, hi there. Well, good morning. What you doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're full of energy, huh? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi, buddy? There's proud mama. Hi, Zoe. Hi, little fella. You gonna say hi to me? Hello, Zoe. Proud mama. Oh, look at this brave little boy. Look at this brave little boy. <laughs> He's only a few days old, everybody. Cute. I tell you what, if you guys come up with a uh, name for him that we like, we'll send you a free t-shirt. So we'll make this name the baby cult contest. Good girl, Zoe. Let's roll out here. Uh, I'd actually kind of wait for the sun to come up. Now it's peeking up and it's gorgeous. But uh, if you'll notice, Becky is not along for this trip uh, because she's got to take care of the new baby. And then uh, Mila had a surgery too that that uh, she's got to get uh, looked over and everything. So um, I'm headed to shift and <laughs> tell you a little bit here. The reason we got the truck is because we are picking up four vehicles. <laughs> uh, one vehicle on the trailer, one vehicle is going in the bed of the truck, and we're driving two. So I'm picking up David. Becky's going to actually uh, manage the shop today, and I'm taking David with me because Becky can't go on a long trip. This is going to be about a three-day trip. So so David's going to go along. And then my friend Frank White, who uh, who's actually bought several cars from us. He bought just bought the uh, Alpha GTV that we got recently. And uh, Frank always told me, hey, if you ever want somebody to go along on one of those trips, just let me know. Well, be careful what you say, because <laughs> I'll do it. So Frank is coming along, and uh, we got an epic trip. We are going to Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin, and then we're looping around the, the lake back to Benton Harbor, Michigan, and then picking up another car there and then down to Lafayette, Indiana to pick up a third car, fourth vehicle. So I can't wait for you guys to see what it is that we're getting. And this truly is going to be an epic Tales from the Trip. So let me get rolling, get on the road, and uh, <laughs> you guys be sure to stick along, uh, stick around and, uh, and watch this one because it's gonna be an adventure. Here comes David. <laughs> you ready for this trip? I'm ready now. 
It's gonna be <laughs> jump in on the other side, just throw your bag in. We're getting all loaded up here, and David just pointed this out. Oh, I don't wanna send the way to start the trip. I guess we got Goodyear right here. I guess we should pull it out and make sure it don't leak. And if it does, we can go throw, have Goodyear throw a plug in it, huh? Yeah. I mean, better that than to start leaking on the road. Right. Crap, this is not the way to start. All right, please, no. Oh, that feels pretty deep. Oh, are we lucky, David? Are we lucky? I don't see no bubbles. <laughs> oh, oh, first glitch for the mission, Frank. This was in our tire. She left it there. Well, we got a tire <laughs> shop right there. That's right? Yeah. You know, kind of like if it embeds itself, punctures, then it's going to go down on us on the way to, on the way there, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're on the road. I'd rather deal with it now. Yep. No okay. leaks. <laughs> really? Yep. No yeah. leaks. So got it because that's why I wanted to get it out yeah. now before it went any further in. Oh, hey, everybody, meet Frank. <laughs> hey, Internet. <laughs> so, well, I thought we had a big whammy, but here we go. Let's well, we jump aboard. Well, guys, it is 8.15, <laughs> so. Almost on time. Yeah, I mean, eight o'clock meet up at shift and on the road at 8.15, that isn't too bad. We've got a little bit of McDonald's, <laughs> but uh, headed to Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. Shows we're gonna get there about eight o'clock tonight, but, but we are on the road. Everybody ready for the trip? Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> All right, let's Doesn't go. Doesn't matter, we're going. <laughs> we're <laughs> hit it, huh? <laughs> Ready or not, here we come. Well, we've made it to Rockport. Trip's going really well. Uh, I'm not sure what Frank's thinking here. Liquid death? <laughs> what do we got here? I don't know why this is called that. But it's actually, it's just bubble water. There's okay. some lime in it, uh, but. Uh, I got in the truck and I'm like, Frank's freaking <laughs> liquid death. Here comes David. He doesn't have anything. He's free and clear, but well, yeah. Well, we're a couple of miles from our, or a couple of hours from our destination. So, everything still here. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. Let's finish this sucker. Well, out. We had a nice day at the Hamptons. What did you think, guys? Frank, not so too bad. In, just not like today. all the others. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, three amigos. Let's ride. <laughs> it's a nice day to fetch some cars. Yeah. We are the three amigos. <laughs> How many times have you seen that movie? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. <laughs> I, I'm sad to say it's a regular <laughs> occurrence for me. Oh, there's a big dip. So uh, we're going to see Tom. And Tom reached out, me, out to me in early March. So this one started in early March here. And... We are mid-April, so just a few miles away for our first load, and it's going to be a car that's going on the trailer and something that's going in the back. <laughs> it's going to be car fun. car that's going in the pickup. Yeah. <laughs> what could that be? Knowing me, anything. Wow, this is beautiful, guys. It's always nice to know your Corvette is coming from a good home. <laughs> Man, this is gorgeous, these houses. What do you think, David? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Can you imagine what this looks like in the fall coming through here with these trees? Or Christmas time. Oh, oh, man. Go all out on the lights in this type of neighborhood. Oh, man, this is really cool. Like I said, it's always so fun. You know, I can have cars shipped, but that just... Uh, you know, I don't know. I love the history, the story, and you know, sometimes the story about the car is as is as interesting as the car itself. Good morning, Tom. You're a lady. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What a beautiful neighborhood. This is amazing. How long have you been here? Uh, we've been here since '97. Really? Our house was built in '32. In '32. That's what we were just saying when we were driving in. It's like they love these older neighborhoods because every house is unique. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
And uh, so you're right here. Let's go check this out. I, I'm dying to see all these. Everybody doesn't know what we're looking at yet. <laughs> here is one of the vehicles. Check this out. Holy cow. That is cool. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Now it's got forward, it's in neutral right now, and it's yeah. got reverse. Man, is it, so this is a gated manual then. <laughs> <laughs> as far as the end, it, it's not, it's not, uh, uh, Tiptronic. <laughs> no, no not floppy titles. <laughs> this is cool. Now this, this was held on by three pop rivets. Uh-huh. We're going to, we took it off because the gas tank showed a little evidence of rust in there. Yeah. Now I taped it up with the duct tape last night because I hosed the whole thing off. I okay. I wanted to make it look like it was worth what you're paying for. <laughs> <laughs> that is really cool. That is, that is so, I mean, I didn't expect that. You know what I mean? The, the, well, how here, thick it is. Here's where that crack is. Yeah, yeah, no, I see that. Yeah, because yeah, somebody did something. Well, the Swedish guy I got it from, he was a customer down in Northern Illinois. Uh-huh. A multi-millionaire. When I got it, it was already cracked, and he evidently tried to pick it up. Right. Yeah, yeah, you can't do that. And so, this, how long have you had this thing? Oh, well, since about 19, he was born in 1990, so about 88 or so. Since 88. Yeah. And how did you come about it? Uh, my Swedish friend owed me a commission on some work I'd done for him. Uh -huh. And I'm not sure if he was Swedish or Polish, but he didn't want to pay. <laughs> When he was moving back to uh, Sweden, uh -huh. so his kids could know their grandparents. I went to say goodbye to him, and this was sitting there. He said, "What am I going to do with this?" And I said, "My son would give me the right arm for that." Is that right? Take it. <laughs> oh, I so this was partial payment. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is really neat. And you said, I mean, you know a little bit about the history of these. What? How much did you say this thing was new when they were? Uh, it was on the cover of I think Comet and Schlemmer. Okay. Christmas yeah. Day. Right. In 1985, uh -huh. 10 grand. 10 grand in 85. My friend Paul, he bought this in Italy and had it flown over on a 747. You're kidding me. No. And then to top it off, there's some problem. Oh, it's kind of an actual trunk. Well, that's the engine part. Yeah. Come on, Ferrari. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Uh, the top end I got right behind you. Okay. Here. Look in there, dude. There's the engine parts. Oh, yeah. Danielson's going on. <laughs> I wish him all the luck. But... Well, two strokes are pretty simple. You know, I actually raced go karts for years. Did you? Oh, well, yeah. And so, I mean, I, I was changing rings and pistons and jetting carbs and all that stuff all the time. What we got here? Okay. All kinds of goodies, huh? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, my son-in-law is kind of a wrench, and he rewound him, rewound the stator. Uh huh. And I see in one of these drawers it's another stator that's one in in the engine. I don't okay. Know, don't know where the extra one. Is. Yeah. You can have this as well. Oh, awesome! A little pit box. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a little piston. Yeah. Like scored. Yeah. That's wild. So it's a little 50 cc, little two-stroke. Yeah. The name of the engine is on the side of it, I think. Mm -hmm. Motari something or other. <laughs> oh, that looks quite the deal. There's the state of it. Oh, okay. The last place I worked, we actually overmolded plastic on Harley Davidson stators. Okay. They had a huge warranty issue until wow. we came up with the idea to overmold glass filled nylon on them. <laughs> so, is this one you rewound? Or is this it one that looks, came out it of it? It looks like, I'm not sure. <laughs> Danielson's going to have to check it all out. Yeah, right, right. Well, that is cool. Well, that is awesome. This part, I was in what, fifth grade? <laughs> is that right? Last time we had this part, I was in fifth grade, probably. <laughs> Jeez, fifth I don't grade. know. <laughs> so, <laughs> did it, it, so it never it, it never ran when you had it? It did. When, oh, I, when I got it from Paul from yeah. Illinois, the Swede, uh -huh. you couldn't leave the battery cable on. You could put the battery cable on and start it, and then you got to pull the battery cable off. Otherwise, it'd start smoking all the wires. Oh, because it was the starter was engaged the entire time? No, there was a short somewhere. Oh, wow. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> There's all kinds of goodies. This little uh, daddy right here? Yeah. It came from a customer in Rockford, Illinois, Woodward Governor. Uh-huh. They rebuilt jet engine controls. Okay. In other words, the fuel management. Uh-huh. 
and they actually have a humongous ultrasonic cleaner that they put their parts in. Oh, wow. And these go into the ultrasonic cleaner. Oh, okay. To clean the parts. Well, that's a cool little vintage kind of little storage deal. Well, they got a hold of us where I was working because they had a huge problem. Every plastic they tried would either take the soap solution yeah. or it would take the ultrasonic, but it wouldn't take both. They would just crack and be uh -huh. destroyed. We wound up, gosh, I, I bet you we tried 50 different materials. We came up with a DuPont material and no actually kidding. stood up to it. So you designed this? No. The plastics? No, we didn't design any of it. All we did was made a mold for the tray. Oh, okay. Yeah, they didn't tell us up front that they knew there was a problem with ultrasonics and soap to yeah. the plastic. Really? You no, know, your Sonicare toothbrush? Yeah. The early ones, they didn't want you to use a toothpaste that had um, baking soda in it. Oh, because, because it would break crack. it down? Yeah. When we finally solved this, I went to the office that morning when we knew we had it working. Yeah. So we were on our third generation of Sonicare toothbrushes. Oh, wow. I waited until 9 o'clock in Seattle, which is where they're located. Uh -huh. I called up and asked for their engineering manager, and I told them what we found. And you don't have to worry about the toothpaste you use with Sonicare toothbrushes any longer. That was a nice <laughs> little, that was a nice bonus, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> well, this thing is amazing. So, uh, I'm guessing, uh, I'm not sure what the load, but this thing, is, this thing is more solid than I expected. Well, like I said, I grew. I'm kind of a skinny guy. Yeah, I don't know that I, uh, I don't know that I trust myself. <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty solid, isn't it? Yeah. David, here we go. I got, like I said, I drive everything, right? <laughs> Going for a test drive. Oh. <laughs> I knew you had a thing about Ferraris. Yeah. There's I your thumbnail. Can we put a hole in the floor so I can like Flintstone or something? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm, I don't know. I, I don't have seated. a lift to get you out of there. <laughs> you know, right? Oh my goodness. Oh, not quite like my cart at the shop, is it, David? No. <laughs> that is too cool. Well, anyhow, anyhow, this thing being loose, I don't know if you want to. Get yeah, we'll put that inside the truck. Yeah. And this actually comes off too. Okay. Thing. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Well, you have oh, to it slides that. in, I see. Yeah. And then catches. Well, the, thing is, the thing is, what they would have done was made up a paste with the polyester resin. Yeah. And fiberglass fibers. Uh huh. And squished it in there, but it didn't hold. Yeah. And this one, the hinge pin is out. Right, too. right. Yeah, we'll put that definitely inside the truck let's do this so so we uh just for the moment do this for the moment so i don't forget about it there we go well i forgot to tell you i don't have a title for the oh no oh no i we'll have to get a bond to title there that is too cool well door number two tell us about this corvette this is the actual, the initial, you reached out to me, I looked, you reached out to me like in early May, uh, March. Yeah, I think it's when you, yeah. So how did you find me? Because you reached out to me. I've been watching you for years, buddy. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at the, can, can you shrink my head a little more, David? I've been stalking you. <laughs> stalking me, look at you. Oh, no. Well, this is uh, really cool. I'm a huge C4 fan, as you probably know if you watch. You know, when you were talking about coming up when we were still getting snow here, and they used a ton of salt, this is what I was concerned about. Yeah? But the engine compartment's oh, pristine. Oh, yeah. Pristine. Oh, man. I mean, that I is gorgeous. <laughs> Look at the original gator back tires. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Those are the original tires. Yes, so are. how long have you had this car? Since 2002. I bought it when oh, I was two. 15 years old. Okay. I bought it from a lady just about two miles west of here. Okay. Uh, she was the original owner. It had 8,403 miles on it when I bought it. Oh, wow. And now it's got 20,500. 20,500. Yeah. Man, like I said, these are just great cars. I mean, you, you should know. be paying me twice what you're paying. <laughs> <laughs> these are horrible cars, baby. <laughs> Nobody wants these Rhino traps, man. Uh, are you, I don't know. I'm going to have to give you about a half of what we discussed. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this is really cool. We, uh, we've had a lot of C4s. I've got a C4 right now at 91. It's that turquoise metallic, which is kind I, of fun. I watched the video. That's yeah, a pretty car. that is a pretty car. What do we got here? Oh, oh. <clears throat> you even get these. I bought these from Eckler's. Yeah. 
And when I got them, and seal plates. Them, yeah, put yep. them on a seal panel. When you're sitting in the car, they yeah. like the way they look. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one Corvette I bought, it's got floor covers, seal covers, seal, steering wheel cover. Like they, they, uh, they, <laughs> they covered that car up with everything. I, I bought a '63 Corvette back in oh, the wow. '70s. Uh -huh. It was in dark gray or black primer. This guy had blue shag carpet on the dash on the door panels all over the place oh the 70s huh <laughs> unbelievable I'm like what are you thinking <laughs> well let's hear this thing you fire it up fire in the hole do the c4 yoga <laughs> little digital bash you know what i love about these two just the manual top you know what i mean so simple. I guess let's go ahead and uh, roll it out here. So like so, yeah. Because if you would leave the key in the ignition, I think it would kind of freeze the key in place and you couldn't turn it. Oh really? Yeah. But that's been disconnected. You can't leave it in. <laughs> oh, no, that's nice. Yeah, because some of that old anti-theft technology is really just more like uh, anti-reliability technology. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Probably with this, they gave you like three or four ignition keys and only one or two door keys. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, there are three ignition keys and two door keys. Exactly. <laughs> and this is an 87. Seven. Yeah, yeah, because I had that 86. And that 86, I believe, was the first year to come back with convertible. Right. 86 exactly. and then 87. Yeah. Car in 86. Yes, sir. So our plan, you know, is it maybe hopefully get this thing running soon and uh, drive it to Cars and Coffee. <laughs> My buddy Brian with the Epicenter Garage, I don't know if you've seen any of his videos, he's got a little Ferrari Formula One go-kart. Oh, you know, yeah. yeah, he's got the Formula One Ferrari go-kart. So we want to get these two and chase each other around. <laughs> around uh, I think I'm going to have to recruit Jenrosen as my driver on this one. I think uh, he would have a better luck driving this than me. A little smaller person. Yeah, yeah I think I'm going to have some trouble. Hey, but, Justin, go get that broken wheel cap so I can explain about this. Oh, yeah. This is, this is a highly thrilled uh, European casting rhythm called Quick, quick Cast. Okay. And my brother-in-law mechanic, he was trying to sort out the engine. He uh -huh. to pick it up by one of the spokes here. Oh yeah. And rip the uh, Oh the yeah. Off. Oh wow. So yeah. I had to take one of the other ones and mount it to the board and make a quick mold off of it. Okay. To make that one. Yeah. Now that one just needs to be wiped off with acetone or something. It's great silver. And it's yeah. Good to go. Oh okay, cool. So this was the. Uh, they are a little bit fragile. Oh wow. You can't be picking up. No. Drowns by it. No, no. This whole thing is rolling. But uh, yeah, so just like that, and then, because what is this made of? It's a highly filled uh, urethane, it's filled with aluminum. Wow. It's called quick cast. At least this one, and I'm sure that you probably the same, similar stuff in here. That's know. interesting. That is fascinating. And I spent 40 years in plastics. I started out with fiberglass because of Corvettes. Yeah, really? I started saving for a Corvette when I was 10. No kidding. Yeah. Remember that old TV show, Route 66? Yeah. That came out when I was 10 years old. Oh, big impact. Yeah. And I got a paper route and I started saving. By the time I got a driver's license at age 16, I think I had uh, $2,800 or almost three grand. And I wanted to buy a Corvette that my old man wouldn't let me, so I wanted to find a brand new 68 Pontiac Firebird. Oh and my I, goodness. At age 16, two weeks after I got my driver's license. <laughs> Pontiac Firebird. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> the damn tires on that thing, they only lasted for 10,000 miles. They lasted that long? <laughs> uh, the front ones were pristine though, right? <laughs> no, all four of them were gone. All four of them? <laughs> so the rear ones were bald and the front ones were flat spotted. <laughs> that would be my guess, right? Well, shall we try to start loading some of this stuff? Yeah. And on the gas cap, you're, yeah. you're going to have to come up with some of it. Yeah. Just a black plastic thing that was actually squid. It was kind of leaky. Uh huh. And it had a chrome cap on it. Okay. But it just pushed in the hole. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll figure something out. But uh, so it looks like they basically made a, a this is a, a replica of a Mondial, it looks like. Yep. Looks yeah. Exactly. That is cool. That is cool. And there's our electric start yep. and electric and stop, so that just shorts out the ignition, probably. Yep. Oh, we got gauges and everything. No, I don't think the gauges. Yeah, I know, but it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, I told you it had a Momo steering wheel. I know, Momo <laughs> steering wheel. What, do we, what, what kind of leather and tolstery we got here? <laughs> that is cool. Well, let me go get your uh, all the paperwork and stuff we got lined out. And why don't we get you loaded up first? Yeah. Do you want to do that? Yeah, let's load it okay. up first. Okay. All right, well, let's see. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> David, how are we looking over there? Okay. See, because right now, if you'll look here, I've snagged our ramps, right, David? See, I've looped our ramps into this whole equation. Yeah. And then my, now I'm also on the Ferrari tire. Yeah. How are you? Cool. Yeah, no, it's not. I think we're in pretty good shape. What do you think, David? Okay. On to the next car. Let's see how the guys are doing. We got everything packed up, it looks like, don't we? Are we gonna make it, Tom? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I think we need to get some more straps here. I'm not trusting of that too much. We got the Ferrari loaded up. Let's see how the guys are doing in here. <laughs> you lost some of your space, David. Yeah, it's, it's kind of taken up. <laughs> oh. how's, your, how's your comfort level, Frank? Uh, I am uh, un... Un Unfaltered? Unaffected? Good to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Back on the road. Look at the... Yeah, I got to show you guys this. My my view out of the rearview mirror is hilarious. I've got two, two cars facing me in the rearview mirror. Being chased. <laughs> I'm being chased. In the Corvette. That is great. <laughs> well, really enjoyed uh, meeting Tom and his son. Weren't they awesome? Yeah, they're nice people. Oh, super nice people. And I love, like I said, the history and the story and, and all that stuff, you know, and, and love learning about, I mean, he, he's a Corvette guy from, from, from childhood, from jump. Yeah. 
That is really cool. So we're gonna hopefully, Tom will be happy we'll do this Corvette proud and uh, and enjoy it while we have it. And then uh, move it on to the, to the appropriate next owner. So on to our next stop. This is a biggie guys, don't go anywhere.